Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. How are you, my dear students? I think all of you are well and good by the grace of Almighty. Allah, my dear students. In the previous class, we will discuss about some rules and ideas for calculation. Yes or no? I think yes. And I just gave you some homework. And I think all of you have done your homework perfectly. Clear or not? Okay, my dear students. You must do your homework properly. Clear? Okay, my dear students. Today, I will discuss about 5.3 exercise. Clear, my dear students? And already I have done some of these questions. But I will take any one question from the question, and the remaining question is your homework. Clear, my dear students? Okay. The first one, first one is calculate, applying the rules for calculation order. Calculate, applying the rules for calculation order. Here, four persons. Here, how many persons? Four persons. I just take any of them and I take, um, suppose, number three. I just take. Number 3 and this is 7 into 8 minus 6 divided by 2. My dear students, you know, I think all of you know that first parenthesis, first parenthesis, which are include first parenthesis, you must do the all at first. That's why an multiplication sign is bigger than minus sign. That is why you must do it at first. And here are two upper terms, so the parenthesis remain here. 7 8 is 56 minus 6, and this is 2. Clear, my dear students? 56 minus 6, that means what? Yes, that is 50. And there is a only one upper term, so the parenthesis vanished. Divided by 2. 2 divided by 50, that means 25 to the 50. And complete your answer. And so homework is HW is page number 65, question number 1 and 1, 2, 4. Clear? Okay, my students, next. Number 2. Use the calculation rules to calculate the following. I think all of you have done 1, 2, 3, 4. Clear? These are very simple. These are very simple. That's why. Okay, I just take number 4. Here, 4 into 92 into 25. My dear students, these are. Okay, my dear students, you just take 25 beside 4. That means 25 into 92. 4 25 are 100 into 92. 92 ones are. 92 and you put the 0 here. This is very simple. Yes, this is very simple. Okay, you do just take uh, number 3. Number 3. Here is 20 into 66. Sorry. 20 into 66 into 50. My distance. Look at me. Is it very simple? It is a very simple math. That's why. You must find it into 50 into 66. So just like this. Here or not? Okay, my dear. It's just 2 5s are 10. Here are 2 zeros. So you must put here. And this is 66. 66 ones are 66. And here are the triple zero. This is very simple. Okay. SW again is W. Today I will give you huge number of SW. There's number 65. And this is 2, I just saw 3 and 4, so you have to do that 1, 2, 5, 6. Clear understands? Okay. Next, number 3. Number 3. Express the situation to a single mathematical sentence and solve it. Okay. 
everyone just do with me this is number 3 express the situation to a single mathematical sentence and solve it ok my dear students at first number 1 price of 5 pencil is taka 60 price of 5 pen pencil is taka 60 how much is the price of 9 pencil my students the price of 5 pencil is taka 60 that means 5 pence the price of 5 pencil is taka 60 so you must at first you must find the price of 1 pencil on pencil and that's yes all of us are correct that's the total price of 6 taka of 5 pencil if we just divided this we get 1 pencil and if we get the price of 1 pencil you just find out the price of 9 pencil clear or not this is the price of only 1 pencil and this is the 9 pencil so this is the mathematical center this is the Mathematical sentence clear. My students and solve it and solve this. The first line is the mathematical sentence of the question. Yes or no? Yes. You must write this way. Mathematical sentence is. Mathematical sentence is. 60 divided by 5 plus parenthesis plus into 9. Clear? Solution. Solution. 60 divided by 5 into 9. This is, I, at first you must do the work of first parenthesis. 60 divided by 5. That means what? 5 twelves are 60 and this is 9. Yes or no? 12 nines are 1 0. Clear or not? This is very simple. Okay, my students. This is number one. This is number two. Divisor is three times the remainder. The quotient is four times the divisor. Remainder is two. What is the dividend? My students, look at me. There is no need to solve this question. You must follow the idea. Here are here are the four questionable part. That is remainder, that is divisor, that is quotient, and that is divisor. Yes or no? Yes sir. So you can just write this divisor equal. There is no need to write here sum. Clear? Then dividend. Dividend. Then quotient. Then remainder. Remainder. Again you write, again you read all the sorry. Again you read the question. Divisor is three times of remainder. The quotient is four times the divisor. Remainder is two. So remainder is two. Remainder is two. Again, first divisor is three times the remainder. That is remainder is two and the three times. Three to the six. Three to the six. The quotient is four times of the division. Quotient is four times of division. Division into four times. Yes or no? That is four six are twenty four. Yes or no? And dividend is the is calculatable. Yes or no? So that I just use a what? What question mark? Clear or not? Okay, my dear students, we know we we know dv then equal dv jar into quotient quotient plus remainder. Yes or no? Then the name of remainder is residue. Residue. Understand? Divisor is what? Divisor is 6. Quotient is 24. And remainder is 2. 6 for the 24. We have 2. 6 to the what? 
12 and 2 that is 144 plus 2 that is 146 and this completes your answer. This is very simple or not? I think this is very simple. Okay my students, next one is monthly salary. Okay I just finished this yes or no? Yes, this is very simple. I think this is very simple. Number three, three. Monthly salary of Miss Shampa is taka seventy five hundred. She has spent taka seven hundred. Sorry, seven thousand two hundred and fifty every month. How much money does she have in a year? Yeah, that means saving money. How many steps in a year? Clear my questions. Monthly salary of Shampa is taka 7500 taka. I just like this. And monthly expenditure of Miss Shampa is 7250 taka. Clear? Okay. How much money does she save in a year? Everyone, I think all you know, we know. We know one year contains 12 months. Yes or no? Yes. He, she saves this amount in a month. But the question on to ask you that how much money does she have? Sorry, does she save in a year? So in a year, that means you must multiply this by 12. Understand everyone? 75,000 minus 7250. This is the saving money for one month. So 12 months is this is multiplied by 12. Clear? Okay. So the nothing sentence is at all. Okay, my students. Mathematical sentence. Mathematical sentence is. 7500 minus 7250 into 12. Solution. Solution equals 7500 minus 7250 into 12. 0 minus 0 is 0. 0 minus 5 is 5. We are on. 5 minus 3 is 2. 7 minus 7 is 0 into 12. Okay, here is the 0. So I put the 0. 5 12s are 60, this is 0, we have 6, 12 to are 24 and 6, that is 30. So, Miss Shampa saves in a year 3000 taka. 3000 taka, this is very simple. I think this is very simple math. students I just erase this map yes now everyone read very carefully number four number four and the number four is Rupa and Moni have taka eight seven five together eight hundred seventy five taka together Moni has taka 125 more than that of Rupa. How much money do they have separately? Okay, my students. Here Moni has taka 125 more than that of Rupa. Okay. Suppose, suppose Rupa has X taka. So Moni has Moni has x plus 1 to 5 taka. Yes or no? Yes, suppose you have 10 taka and and the taka of Moni is 10 plus 125. That's that is that's why that is uh, that is Moni has taka 125 more than that. As Rupa is x taka, so Moni has x plus 125 taka. Yes or no? 
yes according to question according to the question question rupai money have taka 875 together that means rupa sorry rupas money money plus monis money money equal 875 taka yes or no yes rupas money is x taka monis money is x plus 1 to 5 taka and that is equal to 875 imply that x plus x is 2x plus 125 equal 875 taka and that is 2x equal 875 minus 125 taka and that is 2x equal 5 minus 5 is 5 7 minus 2 is 5 yes or no 8 minus 1 is 700 taka and that means x equal 750 there is a multiplication so you must do division here this is 2 and this is 367 yes 2 3 6 2 7 14 2 5 10 375 taka so so rupa has rupa has 375 taka taka and money has money has 375 plus 1 to 5 that is 500 taka that's complete your answer okay my dear students no more today please pray for me i will also pray for you thank you assalam alaikum